airborne energy wells, transmit power, via laser beams, recharge battery-powered drones. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, the Pentagon's Emerging Technologies Specialist, is looking into outfitting aerial refueling tankers as airborne energy wells to recharge battery-powered drones. The agency has put out a request to industry players as it seeks information on the feasibility of using modified manned tanker aircraft to wirelessly transmit power, via laser beams, to unmanned aerial vehicles, in what could be a potentially groundbreaking development. DARPA recently published a request for information, RFI, that calls for industry feedback on the proposal to outfit the Air Force's existing KC-135 and KC-46 Pegasus tankers with an underwing power beaming pod, although it doesn't rule out other options. Such a pod would be required to contain a continuous wave laser generating at least 100 kilowatts. The solution would also be expected to provide beam forming and steering of the laser energy covering a nearly hemispherical field of regard, to ensure the power gets to where it's needed. More broadly, the RFI also wants to know from firms whether they consider themselves able to build and test the required components and subsystems for the airborne energy well, as well as to adapt existing hardware. As the primary driver behind the Airborne Energy Well initiative, the RFI outlines the need for UAVs to be able to fly further and for longer, replicating the advantages conventional tanker aircraft provide to the manned fleet. In turn, the drones would be able to have reduced organic energy storage, allowing them to carry more weapons or sensors, for example, or they would just benefit from extended endurance without having to land. The all-electric drones that are in line to benefit from airborne energy wells currently tend to be relatively small in size. However, larger UAVs are increasingly on the agenda and having the ability to top up battery cells while airborne could help address the problems of endurance that relate to electric drones. In the short term, the airborne energy well likely wouldn't need to recharge large aircraft, but over time larger and more complex types, both manned and unmanned, are set to become battery-powered. Meanwhile, both DARPA and the Air Force are increasingly interested in the potential of electric vertical takeoff and landing, if tall, designs. Of course, the airborne energy well would also require drones that were compatible, with some means of receiving the directed energy generated by the tanker. There are other potentially significant hurdles, too, including the effects of atmospheric interference from clouds and precipitation on laser-beamed power. With all this in mind, very high and slow flying aircraft that run on electricity and fly for very long durations, standing in for communications satellites or carrying a sensor high aloft, might be the best customer for this concept. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.